Okay, so here we go. I'm walking to church, and that is what I've got. Lots of gloom, lots of mess, and then I see this beautiful park, and here I am. So I realized I haven't talked to you guys in ages. I'm gonna walk through the park a little bit and then get back on the street. Um, hopefully you can hear me over all of the cars and over all of the dizziness. And yeah, I realized I hadn't talked to you in a good month and I thought that was not acceptable. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say hey from London and um, I cannot believe it's almost November. It's ridiculous how time just flies by constantly. Um, and the things that have been happening and the things that have been moving through this last season. I hope you've been able to see um, my new blog that I am keeping posts on and some posts are coming out later today and tomorrow as well. Just kind of process with God, um, letting you know the adventures that are happening, but also really some reflections and just things that God really speaks a lot to me. And people here get to hear my voice, but sometimes there's a lot happening and I'm trying to figure out how to write that and how to be able to share that with people who are walking with me and who are loving me. And um, yeah, it's just amazing to really be able to be in the midst of all this growth and in the midst of all this change. And yet I was walking to church this morning um, and thinking a lot about the world, thinking a lot about um, the challenges that are facing the world. And when I saw the trees, God was just speaking a lot that seasons change. And if, um, if you saw my Instagram, I hate being media focused, but I guess it keeps me connected to the world. But um, yeah, I was walking home earlier this week and just thinking about how seasons change, how things come and they go. And sometimes when this, the leaves start falling in autumn, we freak out, we wonder what's happening, we wonder why things are changing, why are there new seasons, why are, are things dying, what, what's happening and how are we gonna work with this? And um, it's amazing, I'm gonna show you this beautiful school behind me as we're walking, um, look at that. Oh my gosh, I live in London, it's true. Um, but yeah, the fact that seasons change and that's not a bad thing, that God is in the middle of seasons, God is in the middle of transformation, God is in the middle of our pain and our questions and I don't know, these last weeks as I've been praying and thinking and walking and, and just seeing that like, the world is getting darker and darker. I don't know if you noticed today, if I show you what's going on in London, there's not even blue skies. There's not even um, like lights. It's really, really <laughs> gloomy. It's like a haze is kind of covering everything. And um, yeah, it's like really dim and foggy. And I was like, God, how? How do we see you when everything looks so cloudy, when everything looks so foggy, when everything looks so dim? And you know, on a, on a sunny day when you wake up in the morning and the sun is shining so bright, you just feel good and you're ready to take on the day. But on gloomy days, on foggy days, on cloudy days, sometimes you can't even find the motivation to get started. You can't even find the motivation to, to see that the sun is beyond the gloom, is beyond the clouds. Um, and you know, all that God was saying this morning was like, April, I am here and share that with people, that I'm here. Um, I was thinking about Isaiah 55 where it says, seek the Lord while he is near. Um, call out to him and he will answer you. And then it says, my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways. My ways and my thoughts are higher, higher than your thoughts. And I'm just amazed that everything that he is doing, he's the greatest multitasker. He is the greatest um, problem solver and and you know, at the end of, of Isaiah 55, it talks about um, just as the water falls from the, the sun and waters the ground and plants grow and it brings fruit, so my word will not come back without um, producing the effect that I sent it forth from. So I just really feel that from God this morning, instead of sharing everything that I'm doing, which is a lot, we've got a new school running, we've got finances year-end closing, we've got opportunities in Brighton, we've got um, a DTS gathering that the students are going to this week. So many amazing things that I could ramble about for eight minutes, but <laughs> um, I thought today was just an encouragement to you. I really love you guys, and I just feel God's heart and God's promise that my word will not return void. It will accomplish the purpose I sent it for. So whatever you're praying for, whatever you're waiting for, if you just need that bit of encouragement this morning, um, I felt like talking it instead of writing it, and yeah, I hope that you are blessed and have an amazing day and just remember that he holds the perfect timing in his hands and he holds the perfect season in his hands. 
And if we're waiting for promises and we're waiting for things, it's because he's a good God and he's holding on to it so it would be the best thing for us. The best. Um, not something that we're settling for, but the best. So I pray that that would bless your heart this morning. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.